हेलो पीपल वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज लैसो रिग्रेशन सो लैसो रिग्रेशन इज वन ऑफ द वेरिएंट ऑफ योर रिज रिग्रेशन सो मोस्टली सम ऑफ द डिस्कशन विल बी बेस्ड ऑन आर रिज रिग्रेशन सो इफ यू हैव एन वॉच दैट वीडियो आई सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट बिफोर यू वॉच दिस सो लेट्स बिगिन सो लैसो रिग्रेशन इज ऑल्सो कल्ड एज द एल वन रेग्युलराइजेशन why because it follows the l1 norm out of the lp norms now l1 norm is nothing but your manhattan distance or your taxi cab distance now the lasso in lasso regression stands for least absolute shrinkage and selection operator so uh, this is simple so you just have to multiply uh, lambda with your magnitude of your slope now let's see how uh, this is uh, we arrive at this particular point so most of the discussions are same so we have say our dependent variables and independent variables so we have say our defaulted borrower now we have say age and less than age and greater than age 50 so this is our age now say we got some few points here and we draw one particular regression line over this now the slope of this is greater now in our training instance uh, we get this line or we build this model but, but on our test data what we get is we encounter a larger variation that is a residual errors so this discussion is same and what we need to do is we need to minimize this particular slope that is this lower triangle to somewhere around this so in the ridge regression what we mainly used is we use the l2 norm that is a euclidean distance but here what we'll mainly use is our manhattan distance or the taxi cab driver distance now how do we use this so what we have is i is equal to 1 to n that is our error function yi minus y predicted square for this training instance it is zero but for test instance it becomes large so our minimization function or optimization would be based on your m and c parameters so just for reference i'll call m as beta 1 and for c as beta 0 so we need to minimize this so i'll just represent this in euclidean norm like this now what we have is this particular condition is subject to some beta average that is we take the average of these two parameters which is same so that i say it is less than some parameter say c or in fact i'll put it as a now for this uh, what we know is we have this bowl shaped function so this is for our j that is our cost and this is our slope and this is our intercept so what we obtain is we get a bowl shaped curve like this now for this what we do is we have this particular coordinate axis now mind you this particular uh, cab driver distance or this particular entity this here is your l1 norm now for l1 norm what you have is whenever you plot the absolute value of some particular uh, function like this which is of magnitude its graph is something like this now since this cab, cab driver distance what we basically have is we get something like this that is a square shape so it's like from one point to another point you are going now if you want you can just put the label it as c c or minus c and minus c a a a and a now whatever lies inside this or we have to select that parameters which minimizes our beta 0 and beta 1 so what we draw is we draw some level curves around this 
we get like this and say for some values of this beta bar or mnc we get some values say 5 10 15 20 25 and 30 now one peculiar property of lasso regression is that you have this intersection at one particular point say we we are interested in two parameters that is beta 0 and beta 1 and at this point we are exactly getting only one point which minimizes the error so obviously we are looking for that level curve which has the lowest error now if 30 comes after uh, 25 so we are interested in 25 why because it has lower error similarly we'll plot all the points which are lying in this particular region so if we are getting any uh, level curve which has the lowest value than the prior we would go for this so obviously one other parameter would be zero say you have your c intercept beta zero as zero and beta one you get it as some value say you get it as c in this case or in fact a so your this beta vector is essentially consisting of beta one and beta zero so you get in this way so this is a column vector so now you take parameters from this and you add up to this equation so how this just reduces so your lasso regression so the uh, minimization function would be you have to minimize your m and c such that for this by i minus by predicted square plus what you get is lambda times that is our hyperparameter and you have your slope so if you closely look into the ridge regression what you essentially see is the penalty parameter just got changed so there you had magnitude of m square why because we used l2 norm now here we since use the uh, l1 norm we have just only the magnitude so essentially this is one superficial difference that we can see also one peculiar property of lasso regression is that it helps in reducing the irrelevant dimensions now say uh, we get this line now say y is say we have one parameter so we have this intercept that is c then along with that we have age into its slope then we have say salary into its slope say we have gender into its slope and say we have something called as experience into its slope now what you can essentially see is we require only certain variables to predict this particular function or to predict our model so in this since we have considered age that is one essential parameter salary should also be taken but if you consider gender and experience that's not much important to our prediction or it does not count too much our uh, value for prediction for this line so essentially we can rule this off so lasso regression one property it has is that one parameter it sets to zero so by this you can just rule out the unwanted variables which are present and so you can just minimize your equation to only this so this is one uh, big difference if you see from uh, lasso regression and regression and else uh, whatever is there that remains the same so well that was all regarding the lasso regression in machine learning so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to watch this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video